It is the one and only Kakar. I mean, uh, Vegeta. Prince Vegeta. <laughs> well, if I'm it isn't there. Broly. Yeah. It's about That's, time. It's about time. I have to go ahead and get the uh, the voices out. <laughs> the I, had voice to, out I, had had, I had to have Vegeta assert dominance right off the bat. Right. Oh, wait. This can't start without the... Oh, man. It's too late to lay out. <sighs> oh. Sparkling. <laughs> Sparkling. It's Gohan. Oh, Gohan. It's rice. You're right. Answer him, Kakarot. God. He's like, he's, just like he's, he's napping like you were napping this <laughs> afternoon. For real. He's like, yo, how can I? He's like, I'm going to just ignore him until he leaves. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So I'm not very good at this game. Um, like spoilers. some it's, uh, spoilers. Some of the footage of me just messing around is like, that's me actually trying. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's we've not, been there before. Yeah, it's not. It's not to like ham it up. Like, no, I'm. I'm trying as hard as I can. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're trash at video games. If it's not Monster oh, Hunter, I'm done. Pretty much. All right. Look at this. This is I mean, dope. this actually looks really good. It it looks a little better than Fighters, in my opinion. Oh wait a minute. Fighters yeah, I started something. Oh no, wait. Oh, I don't want to. No. I don't want to upset the community. You're gonna come after me. For real. But be careful. Yeah, I mean, it looks, it does look really good. Okay, so L two burst, right? L L two burst. Show, Show. key charge, key burst, melee. You're gonna burst all over Piccolo. Show, <laughs> Piccolo, it's me, Kami, <laughs> Mister Popo. All right, everyone's so, in your head. Pretty much. All right, here we go. You're ready for that that um, J uh, licensed yeah. voiceover for real. gig, Christopher Sabat, Please give me your blessing. Thank you. Right, I would I would even be happy to like get the voiceovers on like a toy or something like one of those little toys that that speak. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, hey, can I just can I like if Chris Sabat isn't there, can I just be like, Ugh, and you know that'll be good enough, right? <laughs> Let me do grunts. Let me do Vegeta grunting. I know, right? Yeah, I'll just I'll just dub that for him real quick, you know. Oh dang. Yeah. Oh Jim. I can't do Piccolo's voice because that's like that, that's like actually Christopher Sabat's you know like regular speaking voice, you know, like. Mm -hmm. You have to do a Christopher Sabat impression. Yeah, pretty much. In order to get Piccolo. Oh dang. <clears throat> nice. So I've never played this game, and I, I had a little interest in it, but the, the only thing that's stopping me from ever playing another Dragon Ball game is that I don't want to relive the Saiyan Saga again. This, I don't want to relive the uh, Cell Saga again. Like, I'm tired of these sagas. Right. Not yeah. to put a damper on the playthrough, Dang, but... That's it. Geo's not going to be in there. Like... Once, once we get to Frieza and all that, it's just going to be me playing the game by myself. <laughs> I'll be like sleeping with a picture of me in my bed. It's just like sleeping. a cutout. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but, no, nah, I, I surge as you take damage. So what is that? You take damage, you uh, you increase strength or something? That little bar fills up, and that's how you can do some of your... That's how you chala head chala. Head, that's how you head chala on that. We're we're gonna do a lot of head chala. Oh There's gonna be a lot of head chala in this playthrough. <laughs> oh dang! So I'm there was a the time. I remember there was a time in original Dragon Ball Z. S like, I'm like the old school, the old school Dragon Ball where Super like Saiyan Saga. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. had like we had the the different powers that they would use like. Vegeta would do his rapid fire, you know, and it seems like throughout the series, they were always like testing themselves and trying to figure out their fighting styles. And by the end, they kind of nailed it. You yeah. Know? Yeah, they um, figured it out. They got it down. Like in the Cell Saga, like I remember in the Cell Saga when uh, Trunks and Vegeta were like, no, nah, man, we're going to go in the hyperbolic time chamber. And we're going to get swole, you know. <laughs> And they got swole, yeah, and sell like just 
ruined them because they were too slow. Yeah, they both up too much. They both <laughs> they they were on that Reddit. They were on that gingerbread. That gingerbread regime. <laughs> Here we go. Long haired man. I miss Raditz, man. You know, I feel like they should bring him back. There's a lot of they should. There's a lot of potential there. I wish they would bring Raditz back, but he'd be like part of the good guys. Yeah. Just kind of like how they did extend Frieza the, for a little while. Yeah, extend the Kakarot family, you know. Right. Or even Bardock. I don't see why I haven't brought him back. Bardock? That'd be kind of weird, though, because he looks exactly like Goku. Well, he's got all the scars, and so, and he sounds different. Yeah, and the headband. And the headband, yeah. Classic and the tail. <laughs> and the tail. <laughs> and the, de the mean demeanor, the biker dad dude yeah. deadbeat giveaway right there. If you ain't first, you last. If you ain't first, you last. Dang, the glutes on Vegeta are insane right now. Gat is what the kids would say. <laughs> Gat. Dios. Dios. Santos. <laughs> That's all the, the, all the, the Que Locura fans out there. For really, Que Locura Underground. The man. Underground. I don't know, right? The survivors. They're, they're, que Locura is still around, man. They, the. the Gelugura has its cult following, man. You don't understand. What's, you know, because in Florida, there are a lot of those, um, like a lot of those shows, like, uh, what was it? Um, is it Caso Cerrado, right? Caso, yeah. And yeah, they're in Florida. Closed. Case closed. Yeah, they're, they're, they film some in Florida and I think some in, in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And in Laura in America. La a lot of takes like, Manhattan. You know, People are like, yo, we came to see Kakarot, and they're like, these people are just talking about like Univ Univision, you know? Univision. Like, what the heck's they're talking about on? Telemundo. I'm here Telem talking about Te Kakarot. <laughs> they're talking about Telemundo. <laughs> Vegeta on Telemundo. Vegeta. No, but you know, the, actually, you know what? This is not that far from what's really going on because Dragon Ball Z is really huge in Latin American countries. Oh yeah, they yeah, love still to this day. Yeah, to this day, man. So I mean, I, I yeah. don't know. I think that's appropriate to talk about some of it those some of those things. They, it might be Mexico sells Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and Piccolo sneakers. Like they've got a whole line of sneakers mm -hmm. just dedicated to Dragon Ball, and people wear them. Yeah, yeah. I like remember in Nicaragua, out. there was like some there's like a Frieza like art in one like a side of a building or something like that. Like somebody painted Frieza. Jeez. The grip that this has for real it's synonymous with two with two things and now you might think i'm weird but when i was younger and before this is before tsunami was running the cell saga now for you kids remembering you, you adults now who used to be kids remember that tsunami was the one that brought this to us they brought dragon ball z and made it popular but um i remember watching univision in the mornings on saturdays just carelessly just you know checking out what's going on right there was a soccer match and then i heard a, an announcement like a commercial and i'm like what, what's going on so i looked over and i heard familiar sounds like the dragon ball stuff and they were playing an, uh, a commercial saying hey dragon ball catch dragon ball at like 8 a.m on univision and i'm like what so i did that i i, I tuned in and they were playing the cell saga and this is before it even came out and i was just like wow that's yeah. crazy. I so synonymous with two things, like for me, Dragon Ball and soccer. Just they go hand in hand. I don't Dragon know. Dragon Ball and soccer. Imagine and they had soccer. soccer balls like they look like soccer. the four star Dragon Ball. They probably do. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Oh, me adjust this. People really are like, yo, yo, Gio, we don't care about that story. You just shut your mouth. They're like, yo, just play the game. Play, the, play the, game. the game. Let me hear the voices. <laughs> Let's talk about the story. Put this up just a tad bit more. This should be fine. Sparkling, sparking. It's funny because uh, I don't think I would have actually have played this game on my own, but um, mm -hmm. I had actually gotten this game for my kids, and they were mm -hmm. playing it. So I was like, you know, let me try this game out, and that's pretty much like why 
yeah. I've been messing with it. That's why I've been playing fighters again on all this stuff is because of my kids. They're really into to Dragon Ball Z and they're reading. Yeah, they, the, say what? You could like talking about I was just I did this for all my kids and then you, meanwhile you're leaving Gohan in the dust. I know. I, I like peace out, <laughs> Gohan. Yo, look there, I'm leaving him. Out. He's trying to catch up. <laughs> Dad, wait! Dad, wait! Like a, the bird picks him up and takes him. <laughs> peace. He's like I'm on my way to go train for Frieza. No, um, uh, see you later. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know they they're you know they like re- looking at the mangas and all this stuff. So oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much, I'm cool. here because of yeah because of my boys. And then watching the show again, all this stuff, it's like bringing back memories of... Bringing back the, those Dragon Ball memories. The man. Dragon Ball memories. And, and then I'm just like, I, I remember really liking the Android Cell Saga and then watching it again. I'm like, yeah, that's still my favorite part of the yeah. show. Yeah. The Android Saga. Yeah. Because it, it, it still has that like fresh feeling, you know? And it's conveying the idea of like, well, this is something new. Even though it's still something old, like they're bringing back the Red Ribbon Army, but but still, it it, it has like a a weird kind of like almost like a like a sense of doom that's looming. Yeah, it does kind of yeah. have this feeling where you're like not entirely sure if the good guys are gonna win. You yeah, know? yeah. Especially with Goku just being like absent for such a long time. Right, right. You know, and that fight, yeah, that fight between Piccolo and and Android uh, Seventeen. Yeah, that that was pretty cool. I had to admit, that was one of my favorites. Where's going? I had to watch that multiple times. He's like right there. Where do you run off to? <laughs> I forgot you had to like walk him to the spot. Oh, oh my god! The first uh, Here, mission here's, is an escort mission. For real, here's Gohan lagging behind yet again. Dang. It's like when I like when Pickle is training him, he's just like beating him up. Yeah. And like, Gohan's just still like, hey, Piccolo, you're my friend after everything. <laughs> Remember in the the series where he he uh found that that weird robot yeah. thing? It reminded me from Re- you ever saw that movie Return to Oz? I've I've seen it, but it's been a long time. Like I only I, I know I've seen yeah. it, yeah, but I, I don't I don't well, remember everything. Well, in it, there's like this big wind up night robot, and he's he has like this weird shape. It's like he looks like an egg almost. I think so. Yeah, that does sound familiar. And that reminds me of this. Or but, that reminds me of. of well, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. that was interesting. Some of the filler stuff with Gohan is interesting. And then, it like, he ends up, he goes from running away from that T Rex to finally like cutting off his tail like piece of mm-hmm. his tail every morning <laughs> yeah to eat it to eat it that's yeah. pretty good yeah. character it, development in just a few it's episodes. almost as yeah, it's almost as if they meant for him to be something greater but then just i guess i i would say like where it failed was when gohan got his shining moment as the great saiyan man yeah, uh, the Boo Saga you know? really. I feel like that's definitely where there's like a huge disconnect between yeah, yeah. the Cell Saga and and the the Boo Saga, yeah. because Gohan. I mean, when you look at it, it really does look like they were gonna end it at the end of the Cell Saga. Like that was exactly it. <laughs> right. They were like, "We're done," and then they're like, "No, you're not." Nope. Yeah, Toriyama's like on a cruise ship. I'm I'm leaving C and then like a boat comes by and they're like, No, we gotta you gotta make more Dragon Ball. There's like a helicopter that comes right over him on the cruise. (laughs) And like somebody drops down in a rope and it's like the head of like They pick him up. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like in Bat it's like in Batman when he went to go see the accountant. (laughs) Yeah. And he picks him up with the sky hook. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely go, seems that way. This guy. Because it, I remember, I remember when we finished the the Cell Saga, and then we started watching the Boo Saga. Yeah, I remember. You know, there's like a huge shift in the tone. Like it doesn't even seem like the same show. 